always say it's Thursday and my favorite day of the week because I'll tell you later. This is the Daily Brief. Let's get the show started. So there's been an ongoing issue in Napoli and a lot of people think that it has to do with racism. But watch this and tell me what you think. Netizens wamekasirishwa na chapisho lililofanywa na Liga ya Mpira wa Miguu ya Italia inayojulikana kama Serie A. Hivyo kuitaja liga hiyo kuwa racist. Akaunti rasmi ya Twitter ya Serie A ilituma ujumbe na picha ya marehemu Diego Maradona akimvalisha taji Victor Kvaratshilia ambayo iliwakasirisha netizens hasa wa Nigeria. Pamoja na picha hiyo kulikuwa na ujumbe mfalme mpya amevishwa taji Napoli. But how is this even a debate? Osimhen clearly has the most points not to mention double the goals and he actually scored the goal that made this team win big. Welcome to Italy, one of the most racist places on the planet of earth. Italians are so racist, they don't even go out at night cause it's too dark. So five young Iranian ladies who sang to the Nigerian Afrobeat singer Rema's song Calm Down have been arrested. Video ya wasichana hao watano ilienea sana Jumanne kwa kucheza ngoma ya kufuma ya Rema bila kuvaa hijab. Katika Jamhuri ya Kiislamu ni kinyume cha sheria kwa wanawake kucheza hadharani na pia kutovalia hijab ya Kiislamu. Inadaiwa kuwa wanawake hao walikamatwa na kulazimishwa kufanya video ambayo walionyesha majuto yao. Hmm? I'm not saying anything about this. Inter Milan has one foot in the Champions League final. After an impressive 2-0 win over AS Milan in Wednesday's pulsating last four derby, Inter have the upper hand ahead of Tuesday's second leg of the biggest Milan derby of a generation thanks to strikes in the first 11 minutes from Edin Dzeko and Henrik Mkhitaryan. In celebrity news, Robert De Niro has just had his seventh child at the age of 79. I mean, forget having a kid at that age. I honestly never thought people that old were still having sex at this rate. Just imagine. If you're 30 years old, you still have like 50 plus more years of sex waiting for you in the future. That is a lot of sex. So take care of yourself and have fun. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram and WhatsApp owner Mark Zuckerberg competes in his first jiu-jitsu tournament and he appears to be really good. So obviously he won some matches and he lost some matches. Mark Zuckerberg fought well and ended up winning a gold medal and a silver medal. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. That's all we have for today. But tune in tomorrow for more daily updates on the Daily Brief. I'll see you later. This is Manara TV.